up guys, Clint one here and welcome back to another Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video and today we're actually on PlayStation 4. I think this is pretty awesome that we're actually on PlayStation 4. Um, I'm rank 1, this is kind of sad for me in my opinion but I'm really looking forward to be playing on PlayStation 4. I'm actually going to go ahead and open up my backyard if it's not already open. Um, friend join a backyard settings. Um, yeah, it's on friends only, so people can actually join me right now, so that is pretty awesome, but we're actually on PlayStation 4, so we have none of our characters unlocked from anything at all, this was like just starting the game uh, from scratch, and uh, this is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, before we do anything though, we do have some uh, mailbox things to look at here. The mailbox, import your PVZ Garden Warfare 1 characters, get all the latest news and announcements. Remember to check back regularly. So it says here, um, there's a survey, I might do that later on. Let the festivities begin. Oh yeah, I, did, I did get the uh, festive edition when I did get the game and I, I did get the deluxe edition as well, which is really awesome. Infinity packs, community challenge, through time and space, character imports, player loyalty. Right, let's go ahead and check our rank. I'm going to see if I can get the mail. Let's go ahead and check. Hmm, what does he say here? You got mail. Oh my, you reached rank 313. That's really great. I had five packs for you in the sticker shop as well. Have a great day. Come back and talk to me if you want to check me again. Um, just note that this is a tiring work, so I can't do it very often, just being honest. Okay, so we've got our unicorn chomper right over there in the sticker shop. Let's go ahead and, um, oh, it's still showing us what's in the mailbox. So we're going to go ahead and get this gift here. I think our gifts are already in the sticker shop. I have, probably have 20 gifts. Oh my god, that's a lot of gifts. And we have Sniper Ninja in the game. Awesome that you've joined the game. Nice, we're actually going to be playing some, um, like, tough take for today I think just to uh, play on PlayStation so we're gonna go ahead over to the sticker shop I'm now right guys I'm not completely sure if I want to import my gun for one character onto a, onto a PlayStation I think I might just because you know I mean I played the game too much um, I'm just oh I've got an achievement play date I'm not sure if that showed up on my recording but I got an achievement um, I'm guessing that's because one of my friends joined in here. Awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and um, we're going to see if we do have our character import. Let's just import our stuff. I'm going to see if I can get the mail. Let's go ahead and check. See what he does have to say here. You got mail. I found 56 new characters from Garden Warfare 1 to import. Let's see if you have unlocked any abilities from Garden Warfare 1. Oh cool, you do. 23 of them. Sweet. Have a great day. Come back and talk to me if you ever want to check again. Okay. Just note, okay, he said that before. So, let's go ahead, hop over to our um, sticker shop and see what we do have here. So... We have 20 gifts right now. We have such an enormous amount of stuff to open up right here, guys. Oh my god. Right, let's go ahead and start off with the plant emoji pack that you do get if you get the deluxe edition. Let's go ahead and open up the plant emoji pack and see what we do get. So we get the E-Grin, the E-Kissy, the E-Eye Roll, the E-Vision Orange, the E-Stare, E-Indifferent, and E-Shade. Let's go ahead and open up the big spender pack. Get 200,000 coins. I think this is, yeah, 200,000 coins. Nice. Some starter coins for us to get started on this game, which is pretty cool. The phenomenal character pack. Let's go ahead and see what new character we're going to get in this sticker pack. So, I think, yeah, that's Captain Shark by Awesome. That's one of the really good uh, Captain Deadbeards right now, which is really cool. So, the Super Brains Bent Press pack. Let's go ahead and open up this sticker pack right here and see what we have in this sticker pack. So, we have the Super Multi Ball, the Cape of Superiority, Stubble of Superiority, Beard of Superiority, Face of Superiority, and the Head of Superiority pretty cool. Now we have the zombie emoji pack. Let's go ahead and see what we have in this sticker pack here. So we do get the e-hero, the e-frown, e-goggles, e-captain, e-happy, e-engineer, and e-grimace. 
pretty cool. Um, I think this is another 200,000 coins. Um, so we're going to have 500,000 coins to start off us playing the game here, which is pretty insane. And then we're going to go ahead and get a minions booster pack for some reason. Not sure why this is here, but we're going to get some of these consumables. So we get Mr. Toasty times three, Lightning Reed times one, Surfer Vibe times one, Dr. Hills times three, and Buggerhead Zombie times one. So we, we get another one. We get another one. That's weird. I did, I did not see that there uh, before. So we get Surfer Vibe times two. We get Toxic Gloom Shroom times one, Fume Shroom times one, Terracotta Weed times one, and Pumpkin Weed times three. So we get another one just pack of greatness nice let's see what we do get in this one that'll be hilarious if we got a legendary in this sticker pack right here so we get a piece to the shrimp imp and a piece to the um i think that's the tennis star then we get mr freezy times five final face galaxy conquerors self revive times two and double helix which is pretty cool then we get the cobs attack pack let's see what we do get in this one i think this is a deluxe edition pack two so we get bigger better butter king of bands king of beards king of glasses and king of vikings so here we go here is the commando corn pack let's go ahead and open this up and get our commando corn legendary character here we go the commando corn is now unlocked which is pretty cool pretty nice i'm going to be playing that sometime soon in this game and getting him to master as well like i did in um, my xbox version of garden warfare 2 and here we go we get the grass effect z7 mech pack we're going to go ahead and open up this i think this is the z7 imp actually um, that you do get for uh, getting the deluxe edition so we get the z7 imp pretty cool then we get the another phenomenal character pack which is kind of crazy we've got two of these today which is pretty cool so we get the electro citron it's actually a very powerful character so i'm very looking forward to playing as this character in the future so then we get the festive edition packs so we get our festive edition customizations as well in this sticker pack here so it's playing the legendary music so uh, we get the ornament helmet the stocking hat tree lights tin box hat the star hat the elf hat antler hat and the big red ribbon hat so we get the scallywag imp pack here right now let's see what we get in this one here so we do get the uh, scallywag imp right off the bat here which is pretty awesome so yeah pretty cool we do get that right off the bat there so we've got both of the legendary characters that is in the uh, frontline fighters dlc straight away right there so we get another helpful fun pack quite funny i think that's the third one today which is kind of funny but we do get the pretty kitty accessory mind shade accessory ancient visor accessory exploding imp times one and rocket bot times three so we get another wondrous pack of greatness today let's see did we get a legendary from this that'd be pretty funny if we did but what do we get we get a piece so the vampire flower yes vampire flower is one of the best sunflowers ever we get intergalactic blaster karate zombie times five bamboo shoot times five pinchy crab boxer beatdown and spiked pounders so we get another phenomenal character pack let's see what character we unlock in this sticker pack right here so we get captain cannons that's two captain deadbids we have unlocked today which is pretty cool so yeah that's pretty cool we get the century pack by reaching rank 100 in pbc garden warfare we are pleased to present you with this reward pack so let's see what we do get in this i think are, they, are these exclusive items i feel like they are so we get the zombie shuttle the wizard hat stinky the snail red ramming hood and war burger so here we go guys here is the rank 313 pack the uh, the unicorn trumpet pack let's go ahead and open this up right now and see this legendary or this special actually um, the special character we get the unicorn chomper. I love this so much. This character is so good But there we go guys that is it for all the sticker packs that we do have and we still have sniping during the game Which is pretty cool So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just quick Oh that that thing wasn't there anymore because our friend joined in the game. That's completely fine We're gonna go ahead into the multiplayer portal. Um, here we go. Here's the multiplayer portal. We're gonna play a game of uh, tough takeover. I'll see you guys in the game. Okay guys, we're in the game. Let's play as the pea shooter today Maybe we'll actually play as the unicorn jumper. Actually, I think we will play as the unicorn jumper today And sorry if that is noises in the background I don't know how to get rid of them and um, what I'm probably gonna do now is I'm just gonna mute everyone um, if that's actually going to help. We have Sniper Ninja in the game. Oh, they have um, been vanquished. So that might be quite sad for them. But we're going to head over here. And we're actually level 1 right now. Which is kind of sad. I'm max rank in Garden Warfare 2 on my Xbox One. So hopefully we can 
um, get to max rank again. That's my, that is my aim, is to get to max rank in both games, so that is pretty cool. We have our first vanquish though, which is cool, and we have been vanquished ourselves, so we are rank 1. That is pretty funny. We're in a game with quite high ranks. We've got rank 4100, which is pretty crazy. So we're going to go ahead and respawn. I actually really like uh, the PlayStation. I'm going to be playing much more on PlayStation with you guys on PlayStation. So that's pretty cool. I actually got a message on PlayStation telling me I need to update my About Me page. So I'm probably going to do that. So... Um, yeah, that's going to be pretty interesting to play this game with you guys. There we go, we've got a Vanquish right there. Are we going to get to rank 2? Are we going to get our first ranking up in this game? I'm not totally sure, but yeah. How is your guys' day going? It's been a long time since I have recorded a video, uh, apart from the community challenge I recorded like earlier on today. Um, I, seriously, it's been such a long time. Since I've recorded a video. I've got so much to talk to you guys about what's happened during the week. Oh my god. Um, so much has happened. And um, I'm just going to update you guys on what's been going on. Because the, the videos that I recorded for this week um, have been pre-recorded. I recorded them all in preparation for the week when my twin is on uh, study leave for her mock exams. But she's actually finished them right now. But she's still on study leave. But she's allowed me to record right now. Which is kind of nice of her to let me do that. Um, but yeah, I'm seriously like... Oh my god, there's so much that's happened this week. Okay, let's, let's just get started with what has happened since I did record. Um, there's so much that's happened, I feel like I haven't even, like, remembered anything that's happened this week, to be honest. But, um, yeah, let's, let's just start off with, um, uh, maybe near the start of the week, maybe sometime last week. Um, I think, yeah, I did a drawing of Clementine, um, from The Walking Dead, which is pretty cool. Um, I did a drawing of her holding a lightsaber on Twitter, and, um, Melissa Hutchison liked my tweet, and I'm like... Okay then, I've been noticed by the voice of Clementine. It was quite, kind of a big thing for me, just because, yeah, it's the voice of Clementine. So, um, yeah, Melissa Hutchison, um, I really, really like um, like her voice acting. She's a really good actress, so um, I'm really happy that she actually noticed me. That was a big thing for me, that I got noticed by um, Melissa Hutchison. Like, she's literally, like, one of a big inspirations for me. Um, she's like I'm, and I was I was literally fangirling over her liking my tweet because I I just tagged her in a tweet, and uh, she liked it, so I was pretty happy about that. I've been noticed, I've been noticed. I, I felt really happy about that. So um, yeah, I think that's one thing that happened earlier on in the week. But there we go, we actually ranked up for the first time on PlayStation, which is crazy. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just respawn and just stay here. Um, but yeah. Uh, a lot has happened as well. I haven't had the best of weeks in my opinion, but I mean, I guess that kind of makes up for um, getting a lot of games on my PlayStation because uh, one, I, there was actually a sale on uh, the PlayStation Store. It will have um, ended by now, I think, by the time this video goes out because it ends on the 20th and it, it is actually the 20th today. But that's the whole reason why I actually have Garden Warfare 2 right now. I probably wouldn't have it right now if there wasn't that sale on. The deluxe edition with all of the festive edition stuff was £20. That is such a bargain for this game. Such a bargain to get the deluxe edition as well as the festive edition stuff. I think that was awesome and it was only £20. Um, the standard edition actually did come with the festive edition stuff as well. That was £15. I'm like, there's no point in getting the standard edition if the deluxe is only £5 extra. It gives you a... Um, a character that you won't be able to unlock otherwise. I'm not. I'm actually not totally sure what's going on with the uh, the Z7 Imp because of that character. I think I only got that with the standard edition because I pre-ordered the game. So I'm not totally sure what's going on with that to be honest. But um, yeah, that's why we're actually going to be able to capture this. But again, I'm actually going to say this now really, really quickly. Uh, sorry if the quality of this video isn't too good. Um, I my capture card doesn't like me recording. PlayStation so I'm using the actual capture like thing uh, for the actual game so yeah that's quite interesting I'm actually just gonna check that I'm actually recording right now so I'll be right back for you guys okay I was recording which is pretty cool we're gonna do some gestures here to these guys over here to snipe ninja and till 2007 but yeah I thought that was pretty cool that I can actually record PlayStation stuff on here without having to 
um, have a capture card. So if you guys want to start YouTube and you do have a PlayStation, um, this is actually a really awesome way to do it. You, you just need to get a microphone. And um, so yeah, you guys can actually start YouTube just by um, having a, um, a PlayStation and a microphone, which I think is pretty awesome. I'm just going to hope that it's not been recording my voice through this capture. I don't think it has, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and respawn and hope we can get some more awesome vanquishes in today's video we're playing as the Unicorn Trumper. So happy that I actually have PlayStation. If you guys want to add me on PlayStation, my PSN is Clinkguin. Um, and I am going to be adding everyone back and I'm going to be playing on PlayStation a lot more now that I'm actually not max rank anymore on one of these Garden Warfare games. So I'm going to be getting to max rank in this game and I am going to be starting up a new series on my channel called Quest to Max Rank PS4. Um, leave a like if you guys are excited for that because I'm excited for that too. I'm going to be getting to max rank in Garden Warfare 2 in, uh, on, on PS4. Now that I'm max rank in uh, the Xbox version of Garden Warfare 2, um, I feel like I'm going to be playing PS4 a lot more with this game, as this game is amazing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be playing this game much more, getting loads more ranks, trying to rank up a lot more in this game. So hopefully we can rank up. Actually, I've actually noticed something. The the whole, um, like, the vibration of uh, the controller is very different to, um, like, the Xbox controller vibrations, which is kind of weird. But I don't really mind it. I, I think it's pretty cool. I'm actually really enjoying PlayStation right now. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am actually really, really, really enjoying PlayStation right now. It's like a console that I'm really enjoying playing. And I actually feel like I'm getting way more games on my PlayStation than I actually have on my Xbox One. Because um, I have like Garden Warfare 2, Overwatch, and just like these uh, Walking Dead games on my Xbox. At the moment, I have way more games I actually like to play on my PlayStation 4 and um, so like I have Garden Warfare 2. I actually bought another game on the sale actually from uh, the January sale. I, I bought Firewatch so uh, that's a pretty cool game. I'm pretty sure you guys probably won't want to see uh, me playing through that game so I probably won't do a playthrough of Firewatch but it is a really good game. If you want to go see some gameplay of that you can uh, from another YouTuber. I know I has Cupquake did do a playthrough of Firewatch and I, I watched that um, like over a year ago so I'm actually excited to play the game now. I, I've completely forgotten most of the storyline so I'm actually kind of looking forward to playing it which is kind of cool. It's going to be pretty awesome. So we're going to go head over this way. Oh there's a, there's a guy over there. I forgot. I'm actually going to be able to play as um, the, uh, I think, what's it called again? The Zoologist. I'm going to be able to play as that character again without having to I worry about it being master again, which would be pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy over here. There, come on, don't vanquish me. Yeah, there we go. We managed to get that vanquish before we were vanquished as well. But, um, yeah, we were vanquished again there. So, um, I'm not sure how long this game is going to last for. Um, actually, we managed to capture this as well, which is pretty cool. But, um, I'm going to get rid of this guy. There we go. We, might, we managed to get rid of them right before uh, we were vanquished ourselves by an imp right there. So, we're going to go ahead and respawn. And we're actually almost level 3 now, which is pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to getting way more ranks in this game. And hopefully we can get some cool ranks. So there we go, we're at level 3 now, which is really cool. So we're actually going to be rank 4, right? Rank 4? No, we're rank 3, don't worry. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm really happy and that I actually have this on PS4 now. And a lot of people have told me, you, you, you are literally wasting money to get the game on a different console. But I honestly don't mind. I'm starting from scratch. I'm going to have to do all of the zombie quests and all of the plant quests. And get to infinity. And get all the infinity items again. All the infinity characters. I just feel like it's pretty cool I can play the game again and do everything again. Because I've done everything there is to do in the Xbox version. Apart from completing my sticker book. That's about it. That's all I have left to complete on Xbox. And of course, if uh, there is a new DLC out on Xbox, I will be showcasing all DLCs and all community challenges and stuff on Xbox. And um, so that should be pretty cool. Uh, we will be hopefully trying to get to max rank on this game as well. If there is a new DLC and they do bring in new characters, um, the Quest to Max Rank on PS4 might have to be uh, held back a little bit for Quest to Max Rank on Xbox One. Uh, just because, uh, yeah, I'm, I will literally be so close to max rank again. If there are new characters brought into the game on Xbox One, but that will be pretty cool to be able to play on Xbox One and PS4 with you guys. Because I, I think I still need to update my... Uh, about me page on um, my YouTube channel because it still says I don't have a PS4 but I've had, I've had a PS4 for like 20 days now so um, yeah I'm, I might need to update that just a little bit so 
Hopefully we can get some cool anchors here. We're actually capturing this right now, so that's pretty cool. So we did manage to capture this. We're going to head to the drone factory, it looks like. Uh, we're going to have a really long game in here today, which I'm not too bothered about. I'm not too bothered about having a long game in here today. I'm just really happy that we're actually playing on uh, PS4. It's very different to Xbox One PS4 is. Um, well, it kind of isn't, but it kind of is at the same time because... Um, like the controls are kind of different, but they're kind of not at the same time. Like the whole feel of playing on PlayStation 4 is different to the whole feel of playing on Xbox One. I can say that now it is different playing on PlayStation 4 compared to uh, Xbox One. So yeah, I, I'm just going to say this now. If you guys do want to add me on PlayStation, I, have to, I did say this earlier on in the video, but if you guys do want to play with me... Uh, oh, there we go. We've got a trophy. We've got a goat meal trophy. Um, I managed to swallow, I think it, I think that trophy was for uh, swallowing uh, a goat, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I actually just forgot about that. I'm going to be getting loads of trophies in this game as well. I'm going to try and get a platinum trophy in this game, because I actually did get all the achievements in uh, Garden Warfare 2 on my Xbox One, so that would be pretty cool if I could manage to get all of the achievements and all of the trophies in uh, the, the, the Xbox One, uh, sorry, the PlayStation 4 version of this game. That would be pretty cool. Um, we, we have been vanquished. How are we doing though? We have 24 vanquishes already. That is crazy that we have that many vanquishes already. We're doing pretty well actually. So we're going to go ahead and respawn and hopefully we can get some other cool vanquishes here. We're doing pretty well as the Unicorn Chomper at the moment. I'm pretty happy about how well we are doing today. I'm, I'm really glad. We're doing really well. Let's check this guy over here. We've got an assist for that. And of course, our XP multiplier is actually at times one. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to try and get that up as well in between. And maybe recording another PlayStation 4 video. That would be pretty cool um, to record another one. Um, but there we go. We have been vanquished as well. So, let me know, guys. Do you like to play a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One? Because now you guys can play along with me on whichever console you have it on. Unless your PC. Um, I can't play that on PC. My, my PC is not powerful enough for um, Garden Warfare 2. It's kind of powerful enough for Garden Warfare 1. But that lags after a while. So yeah, that's my only issue with that. Um, I, can, I can get Garden Warfare 2 for PC. But I just can't play it. Because it just lags way too much. Um, like I, It's unplayable on... Uh, PC for me, so that is my issue, but we're almost level 4 now, so hopefully we can actually get to level 4 by the end of this video, that would be pretty cool if we could, um, but I hope we can get around here, try and get rid of this scientist, oh never mind, oh there's another scientist here, I didn't even see the scientist, no there we go, level 4, that's pretty cool, maybe we can get to level 5 by the end of this game, if we manage to capture uh, this base over here, there we go, please don't kill me, yeah, there we go. Oh, nope, never mind. We did not manage to get that bank push. I uh, didn't really show you that there, but that's completely fine. We're going to go ahead and respawn right now, and hopefully we can get some more cool bank pushes. So, I think I'm actually... I'm, I've just been thinking... I know that Zebra Gamer is on PlayStation, so that would be pretty cool to uh, play along with him when he's maybe uh, recording a video, or maybe just, just when he's just casually playing on Garden Warfare 2. That would be pretty cool. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead... Try and get rid of this guy in our spike weed and then do this. That's a really good trick, by the way, guys. If you're looking for tricks for um, trying to get rid of guys in barrels or if they're in their, uh, their, their cannon rodeo, whatever it's called, that's a good trick for you guys. If you guys want to know any tricks for trying to get rid of them in those sorts of abilities, that is the best way to get rid of them in those abilities. And I don't know if that does work for the Turbo Twister as well, I think. And I think it also does work when an engineer is in their um turret i've forgotten what it's called i think it's a big bolt blaster i think i think that's the attack but i'm not totally sure we're gonna try and get rid of this guy though we, we did take damage from that sticky exploded ball so that might have put us at a disadvantage but we were actually vanquished ourselves so we're gonna go ahead and respawn we've only got just under a minute left to capture this though that's not good hopefully we can capture this and then um, yeah, there we go, we're catching this one. Oh, never mind, they have been vanquished as well. So, hopefully we can get rid of all these guys over here. Hopefully we can. Uh, there was a guy over here, there was a goat right here. Hopefully there we go, we've got an assist for that. We're going to try and get rid of this mech over here. Hopefully they don't see us. There we go, we managed to get rid of that mech. Let's go ahead and try and capture this right now. We've only got just over 30 seconds left to do this, come on. No, we were vanquished, that's not good. Hopefully we can... Uh, I'd like capture this um, but if we don't that's completely fine we are going to go ahead and maybe do a little bit of pack opening 
um, at the end of this, as we, we, we will be getting coins at the end of this, and I do have quite a bit of coins as well to spend, so, um, there we go, we managed to get assist for that, are we going to be able to get over there in time, that is the real question, are we going to be able to get over there in time, oh no, oh no, there is a guy over there, okay, no, no, we were vanquished, that's not good, are we going to be able to capture this, are we going to be able to capture this, no, we are not, that's completely fine, and that was quite a long game, not going to lie, but so that's completely fine. Let's see how many coins we do get. And then we're going to be opening up some sticker packs at the end of that. The zombies did defend. So we do get, we get 18,000 coins. Not too bad at all. We can open up some sticker packs with that. Do we get any boasts? And we do not. But yeah, I'm going to see you guys back in my backyard. We're going to be opening up some sticker packs. So I'll see you guys there. Oh, and we're actually at the top of the leaderboard, which is kind of funny. But yeah, see you guys in my backyard. Okay, we're back in the backyard right now. So we're going to go, oh, Never mind, there's a community challenge right now that I might want to do in my spare time, but yeah, you, you guys will have probably seen that video by now where I did do the community challenge, so if you want to go check that out, you feel free to. Um, but we're going to go ahead and open up some sticker packs in the sticker shop right now and see what we can get. Now, we actually do have these phenomenal character packs, so I'm going to go ahead and open up one and see what character we are going to get in the game, which is going to be pretty cool. So let's see what character we do get. So we get the petrified cactus. That's not too bad. That's actually quite a cool cactus right there. So yeah, I think I'm going to be ending this video here, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. They really do mean a lot to me. Leave a like if you want to see more PS4 videos as well, and I will hopefully see you all again next time. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.